and called Jacob their younger son and said unto him, right. Behold, thy brother Esau as touching thee doth comfort himself, proposing to kill thee. Right. So Esau may wanted to kill us, kill Jacob. And that spirit has been in the white man from the very beginning of time. Right. We just read it. It's not, we're, we're not teaching hate. We just read it right out of the Bible. But the person who hates is Esau. It said he hated his brother Jacob. So the white man hates us. Go to, um, go to, um, Obadiah 1 and 8. You got a precept, go ahead. Read that first. The book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 8. Shall I not in that day, saith the Lord, even destroy the wise man out of Edom? So the Lord said he's going to jack these white folks up. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Even destroy the wise man out of Edom and understanding out of the Mount of Esau. So the, the Most High is going to confuse Esau, gas him up, and eventually destroy him. Keep going. And the mighty man, O T-Man, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. That means all the white folks is going to get cut off and slaughtered. Get out. Get out, woman. The holy get out. Get out. Get out. Before you find a beer. Phoenician Jenkins. Keep on. <laughs> For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shall shame shall cover thee. So it said, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, for the white man's violence against us, eventually they're gonna feel shame when they actually really find out that we are who we're talking about, and then they're gonna feel kind of stupid because they can't deny what they did to us. The whole history of America is slavery, rape, rob, and murder. That is the whole history of America. It's good for them, but it's bad for us. As my brother said a little while ago, the white man's heaven is the black man's hell, and vice versa. So it said, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee. And, 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 and the lady, the little white lady that was here early before, she recognized that, right? Right. The lady that was bowing down, when her mom was speaking, she knew she felt shame. <laughs> and she, that's how shameful she felt. You know what I'm saying? Because there's no justification for how white people have been slaughtering us for 400 years. Right. The only, the only rationale is that we just read that they hate us. Right. Right? It said in Psalm 83, they that hate thee shall make a tumult against thee. We don't hate you. You do hate us. Yo, 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 yo. You do that on purpose. Back, back up off the You do that on purpose. Back up off. You, do, you saw that from over there. I, if you saw us, you saw that. You did that on purpose. Because he said I hate you. Stay off that. Yeah, the Bible says white folks hate us. And we just explained why. Interpret it differently. Yeah, you can interpret it anyway. You, you lying about it. Wow. We, there's no, just nothing. You ain't wanting nothing up here. You see how ready you don't like what we got to say, you can have a nice day. Nobody. All right. Ain't nobody though. Yo, the white did man is the devil. On. Keep rock. He not okay. need to step on that. You have slaughtered us for 400 years in this country. Your people, the white. You are totally that? confused. No, you're totally confused. How the fuck you're you going into slavery? You going into slavery? Damn. You just saved the Lord. Bring it out. Okay. Uh, Give me Revelation 19, uh, 13 real quick. Real quick. Revelation 13. 13 10. It's the book of Revelation. Chapter 13 and verse 10. Go ahead. He that leadeth into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity. That cracker and his cracker woman. Go ahead. Shall go into captivity. Shall go into captivity. This is what the Bible says. Y'all did it to us, and we're gonna do it to you. Right. Straight up. Bottom line facts. Back to um, what was that? Um Okay, read it one more time. This is Obadiah 1 and 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob 
shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Now that little cracker that was just over here, he didn't have no shame. He right. Was low. He said, I, I don't hate you. Uh, you're missing Walking on the signs that everybody Walking sees. On Walking on on people's stuff, talking about he don't hate us. All right? The Bible says that the so-called Edomite, the so-called white man, has, as a matter of fact, give me the Ezekiel uh, 35 and 5. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 35 and verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. And a perpetual hatred means forever. Right? Everlasting, ongoing. That's what perpetual means, ongoing. Go ahead. It has shed the blood of the children of Israel. The white man has shed our blood for centuries. Not only here in America, but back during the time of the Greeks and the Romans. Right. When the Greeks under Alexander took over Israel, they completely destroyed our people. They made us eat pork. Right. They hung our women by the... What, what, the history of white people slaughtering us is forever. Because we just read a little while ago that Esau hated his brother Jacob. Right? Where you at? Keep going. By the force of the sword. In the time of their calamity. In the time of our calamity. Keep going. In the time of our iniquity. I've come to an end. Right. So well, the white man has had a perpetual hatred against us. These are just the facts. You, that's why Donald Trump was elected. Why right. do you think Donald Trump is the president? Right? Because white folks want to put Negroes back in order. Right. What do you think it means when it says make America great again? Right. right. What does that mean? Put your little black ass back in slavery. <laughs> That's what it means. Right. Okay? Everybody, every day there's a, a, a video of police brutality. Right. They just had some people hung uh, in, in, in down south uh, last week. Right. No. They found them hanging off a bridge. Right. Lynched. Right. Lynching is coming back in style for these so-called white people. Okay? So to sit here and say, like that, that guy, I don't hate you. Nobody wants to hear that because every day we're seeing our people abused by the so-called white men and the police. Right. You see our people handcuffed, handcuffed with the dog biting their arm off and the officer talking about stop resisting. Stop resisting. Right. Okay? We're going to see how you resist when Christ comes back. Right. Out, we're going to see that. That's what we're going to see. Okay? So the scripture said that we, they had a perpetual hatred against us. Okay? As a matter of fact, let's, uh, let's move a little bit past that and talk about what's going to happen to America because of what America has done to us. Somebody give me um, Revelation 17. 17 and 1. Because your white folks is not getting away with what you did to us. Okay? There's no way that God is going to let your people get away from slave enslaving and slaughtering and raping us for 400 years. Right. Don't you know the Most High is a man of war? Right. Y'all ain't scared of God? You think you're going to destroy his people forever? See that little peck of wood right there? He heard what I said. Right. Read, uh, read Revelation 17. The book of Revelation chapter 17 verse 1. Come on. And there came one of the seven angels, Go ahead. which had the seven vials, Go ahead. and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will shew unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. The great whore is America, that sitteth upon many waters is America. America is the one who has military bases and embassies all over the planet. America has 800 military bases all over the world. Why is that? Because it said the great poor that sit up. Say it again for me. Well, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great poor. This is this is America. Since you should listen to this, you should slip. This is this is what's going to happen here. You know what I'm saying? This is this is important. It's not a joke. World War III is right around the corner. You my sister, you my brother, you should come and check this out. You understand? Did you know this Bible is about us specifically? You know that, right? Oh, your man is called, all right. Well, maybe, maybe she got 
Chicago wants to actually meet us. Uh, we we said the Great Horn is America that sit up upon many waters, meaning the United States has military bases everywhere, ready to jump off and fight anybody anytime. Go down to uh we too, we with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. Right. All the other nations of the earth got down with the so-called white man. Keep on. And the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. And that means all the other inhabitants made drunk, meaning all the other nations. Wow. Yeah, they got little kids on there showing off their breasts. That's crazy. Uh, what was I saying? It's, read it again. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. All the other nations have bought into the so-called white man's philosophies. Right? That's basically what it said. Drop down to five. And upon her forehead was a name written. Mystery Babylon. That's America, yo. Straight up. Keep going. The great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Right. So, so it said the mother of harlots and abominations on the earth. Go to Revelation uh, 18. Hold on. Hold on. It said, uh, read that. Read that one more time. And upon her forehead was a name written. Mystery Babylon. Right. The great. The mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Right, because all the abominations that it goes on right here in America, homosexuality, lesbianism, right. trans, we just saw, remember about five minutes ago, we just saw the transgender, right? We just saw that, you know what I'm saying? So that's what goes down in America, all right? Go, uh, go to uh, Revelation 18, start it, start it one. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the Great is fallen. Babylon the Great is fallen. America's fallen. They see this in the spirit. And that's happening already. Right? It's already happening. Hold that. Give me Malachi 1 and 4. Hold that. Because the most uh, America has been falling, really, ever since the '60s. You've had Republican presidents who try and uh, build it back up. If you look, if, if you look after the America lost the Vietnam War, America has basically been losing. Basically, they've been losing, and we're going to read about it real quick, and we're going to go right back to that. But, yeah. It's the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 4. Whereas Edom saith, We are impoverished, right. but we will return and build the desolate places. Right, so hold on. So that after the Romans and Greek ruled, they fell off for a minute as black folks ruled Europe. Continue. You shall build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Right. They shall build. But I will throw down. Right. So it said, the Most High said he's going to throw down. So whatever type of military the so-called white man has, it is no match for the Most High. Because the Most High said he's going to throw down. Right. Right? So your arms is too too short to box with the Most High. Right. Point blank, period. As a matter of fact, keep holding that. Give me Revelation 17, 14. We know that the Most High... Uh, excuse me, we know the so-called white man wants to fight the most high because the white man knows what he did to us. He knows he knows who we are and he knows what he did. And he knows Christ is coming back to straighten it all out. He also knows that he's going into slavery. Right. So that's why he's going to fight. Because, I mean, on a certain level, hell, I, I, I don't want to go, I wouldn't want to go into slavery either. So he has no choice. He says he's going he's gonna to go out. You understand? Read that. It's the book of Revelation. Chapter 17, verse 14. Go ahead. These shall make war with the land. The white man will make war with the land. We know the land is Hamashiach, Yahushai, who people ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Go ahead. And the land shall overcome them, for he is Lord of Lords. 
It said the lamb shall overcome them. So Trump and your little space military and your little Star Wars and your little satellites and all that garbage you got up in space, it's not gonna be no match for Christ and the angels when they come back. And Christ and the angels is coming back to deliver us from the captivity of the so-called white man. Where you at? Where you at? Okay, hold on. Give me um uh, give me give me Luke 168. You you get the revelation 18. Give me Luke 168. Because we need a savior. We have been abused by all the other nations. We read before that all the other nations hate God and hate God's people. Anybody with a brain who looks back in time to see what everybody else has done to us. The white man has beat us so bad, we don't even know who we are. We don't right. know that we're the people of the Bible. Right. And, we tell, and when we tell the people, they get mad at us. We tell you, you guys chose a people. And niggas want to be African American. Niggas want to be black. Can you get a plane ticket to black? Where the hell is black? What is black? Where is it? Uh, what, what I ask you for me is <laughs> The book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 69. 68. 68. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. The God of Israel. Not God of everybody else. The God of Israel. This book is about Israel. You know we Israel? Did you know that? Huh? Come we ain't gonna fight. We trying to tell you that we the people from this book. The fool back. Okay, keep going. For he has visited and redeemed his people. They said he had and visited and redeemed his people. That's Christ to us, not to everybody. So when you hear, for God so loved the world, people try and say that means everybody, that's a lie. The only reason our people believe that and believe Christianity is because when we were slaves, shadow slaves that is, the white man beat our ass and made us believe it. That's, that's what happened. Because Christianity contradicts what the Bible says for continue. And has raised up a horn of salvation for us Just keep going. in the house of his servant David. The house of his servant David, Israel. Go ahead. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, Come on. which he has which have been since the world began. Keep going. That we should be saved from our enemy. It said that we should be saved from our enemies. And we already established that all the other nations are our enemies, according to the Bible. So all of this, we'll, can we get along and kumbaya, that's all an illusion because we know like the white man has been abusing us for years. You know. So it does not take a rocket scientist to figure out that Christianity is a lie. This Bible is a history book. This is our records. When you go to school and they teach you in social studies, in history class, that Africans sold Africans and you have no history, that's a lie. You know right. why? Because this is our history. That's right. right. And they didn't want you to know that because once, once, you, get, once you find out that you guys chosen, you become fearless. That's you become right. a warrior, or you should. Maybe some people don't. Apparently some people don't. But you should become fearless and a warrior and stand up. Uh, 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 what's the one, uh, the evil doer? <coughs> Give me that, somebody. <coughs> so stand up for me. Somebody give me that. Psalms um, 90. That's what we out here doing, standing up against the evildoers. You know what I'm saying? Right. No fear and no remorse. That's right. That's what Nat Turner did. That's exactly what Nat Turner did. Nat Turner figured out. <laughs> Nat Turner was a, a a smart man who knew how to had a gift of reading. Right. Nat Turner would go from uh, his slave master made him go to different plantations and read the Bible. 
because he had a, a knack for reading. But what the slave master didn't know was Nat Turner figured out that he was an Israelite. He figured out that Christianity was BS. I want to say it so bad, but uh, <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> you got a question, Esau? Uh, let's get back to, uh, matter of fact, no, uh, where you at? Where, where you at? No, okay, forget that. Go back to, I'm sorry. Go back to um, Luke. Where were you, where were you at? 71? Okay, read 71. That we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Right, so that's who Christ is gonna come back to save us from our enemies, from all those who hate us. And we know who hates us. Read, um, to To give knowledge of salvation unto his people. So the Bible says salvation is for his people. Right. And we know that his people are us. So salvation is not for everybody. Right. All the other nations will be in the kingdom of heaven, but they're going to be our slaves. That's right. Just believe that. Just say the Holy Bible. By the remission of their sins, through the tender mercy of our God. Right. It's our God. I don't know where they get this. See, this is what I'm saying. Christianity makes you think sorry, God is a What's he doing? I'm yeah, sorry, I didn't know I would have done it. Okay? I'm sorry. The white man has deceived you using this picture of white Jesus and beating our ancestors' patooties, and now, 300 years later, you got our people tap dancing in the church. You got our people falling out. <laughs> All kind of nonsense. That's Satan. The white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Right. right. That's what it is. Let's go back That's to Revelation, right. um, Revelation 18. That's right. That's right. I think it was at, uh, what, verse 2? Where was it? 2. Okay, we'll read 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great, is fallen. America is fallen. That's what it said. Keep going. Is fallen. And it's become the habitation of devils. The habitation of devils, right? That's what's going on in America. Keep going. And the hold of every foul spirit. The hold of every foul spirit. Any wickedness you can imagine, it goes down in the USA. Keep going. Right. And the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Right, keep going. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Right, stop. So as, as that's the same thing it said in, uh, in Revelation 17. It said all nations have drunk the wine of her fornication, meaning, uh, wine meaning philosophy. You got drunk off the white man, whatever the white man said, democracy, homosexuality. The white man pushed certain doctrines and all the other people on the earth bought it. That's right. Right? That's that scripture means. If you notice, when you go to church, the pastor never talks about the book of Revelation. Right? You got a question, bro? What's going on? Go ahead, what's the question about? First Maccabees, chapter 1, verse 11. Uh -huh. In those days went there out of Israel wicked men. Right. Who persuaded many, saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen. Right, so, so it said, let us make a, it was said, many wicked Israelites. If you bring that up to the day, that would be your Jesse Jackson and your all something. It said, make a covenant with the heathen, huh? So that's what happened. Go ahead. Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. Right, so, you have a lot of sellouts. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You have a lot of sellouts. That's right. A lot, you have you basically have a couple of choices as an Israelite to cool out, cool out, and that's what people do. If, that, if you can't beat them, join them. A lot of people adopt that philosophy. A lot of black people say, "Well, you know, uh, niggas is killing each other in the ghettos, and you know, get you education." You know what I'm saying? Uh, go to college and, and get away from this. 
because black people hate each other. And that's actually true to a certain extent. But the option is to cool out. Or your other option, how about this? Your other option is to stand up, recognize you're an Israelite, and right. keep God's laws. Right. Right? How about that? Keep going. <coughs> And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are wet, rich through the abundance of her delicacies. So everybody got rich off America. Everybody, uh, all the other nations came to America and exploited the Israelites. That's what it is. As, a, as we were talking about before, in the hood, you got a Chinese store, a, a, a food store. You got a, the Arabs selling the um, loses and the crack pipes. All the other nations came to America to exploit God's chosen people. Right? right. Right. And that's just the bottom line. You know what I'm saying? So when this place gets destroyed, and it will be destroyed, go down to. Um, what is it? Go ahead, hold on. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 9. <laughs> For the ungodly and his ungodliness mm -hmm. are both alike hateful unto God. Mm -hmm. Right. The ungodly and they, they hateful unto God. All the other nations hate the most high. That's right. The Bible said all the other nations are enemies to the most high. That's right. And the reason all the other enemies hate God. It's because God chose us. That's right. Don't hate. Stop hating. That's what all it boils down to. All, all the other nations had their time to rule. That's right. We've always been on the bottom. Well, you know what? It's time for us to be on the top. That's right. Right. right? And that's what's going to happen. You can laugh all you want. You won't be laughing when you're in slavery because right. the Bible says the other nations are going into slavery. Okay, let's go over that again, Revelation 13 and 10. Okay, it's not all good that we're going to be on the bottom and everybody's slave. You got something to Ecclesiasticus, chapter 36, verse 2. Uh -huh. And send thy fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee. Lift up thy hand against the strange nations and let them see thy power. Right. All the other nations are going to see the power of Yahweh Shah. Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. Right. Meaning God and Christ. Right. Right? Yahweh is the Hebrew for God. Yahweh Shah is the Hebrew for Christ. Right. Or Jesus. Because that's not Jesus. Okay? That's just a white man, a, a, a white faggot named Cesare Borgia, who Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo, they painted his picture. And they put that as Jesus Christ, and the white man went to all the different countries of the planet and used that picture and slaughtered everybody. Right. Right? Am I wrong? Am I lying? Is that what happened? Can anybody tell me I'm lying? Yes, no, no, yes. I'm telling the truth, right? Okay, that's what it is. So all the other nations are gonna pay for what they did to us. That's right. Uh, where you at? Give me that, give me that. The book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 10. Go ahead. He that leadeth into captivity. The so-called white man led us into captivity. Everybody knows that. We were not indentured servants. We did not come over here voluntarily. White man went to Africa, negotiated with Africans, and Africans sold Jews to the Europeans. Go ahead shall go into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. That's right. All right? So all your white folks, you all live it up now? Because after them bombs come and blow this place up, you're going to wake up with chains on your ass. Right. Okay? And that's what the Holy Bible says. Go back to uh, Revelation 18 and maybe 6. Yeah. 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 Yeah.